Thank you for joining the webinar. My name is Youngmi Park. I'm one of EBI Search Engine developers. Today, I'm going to talk about EBI Search as a service. Before starting the main topic, I would like to mention two things. So the EBI Search Engine is developed and maintained by a web production team in EBI. So the team is developing the job dispatcher framework where users can run bioinformatics tools through web as well as web services. So the team is responsible for web infrastructure and deployment as well. And if you want to know more about EBI Search, there's a latest publication about it. So if you want to know more about it, yes, have a look at the paper. This webinar is following this order. So I'm going to start with the brief introduction about EMBA EBI. After that, I will talk to you about EBI Search and its web interface, web services, and then I will show how other people use EBI Search and then I will demonstrate some sample code working with EBI Search, rest of the web services. EMBA EBI is part of European Molecular Biology Laboratory. Unlike other stations, out, out, other our stations of EMBA, EBA doesn't have a one lab, so we mainly focus on bioinformatics. So what we do is that we provide freely available data and bioinformatics services so our users can perform complex queries, analyze data in various ways, and then share the data. We do computational biology research, also provide bioinformatics training courses, including this kind of webinar. Also, we are working with industrial R&D people and as an Alexia node, we coordinate biological data provision throughout Europe. What is EBI Search? Is? EBI Search is a full text search engine to allow users to access data available in EMBA EBI. We have various data sets, for example, nucleotide sequences, protein sequences, protein structure, protein family, macromolecular structure and small molecular ontologies, gene expressions, reactions and pathways, literature, and so on. So every morning, we check individual data sets. And if, if we find updated data sets, we index them from scratch. So our users always can get up-to-date search results from us. Also, we provide the cross-reference network so users can easily navigate across multiple data resources. We have a web interface, so users can use it like a Google. We also provide web services for programmatic access, so our API users can integrate such functionality and other useful features into their project. Now we have one, more than 1.5 billion entries from over 100 data sets. In the last year, we've processed more than 282 million requests from about 310,000 unique hosts. Now I'm going to talk to you about web interface first. We provide these features through the web interface. As we have a vast amount of data, we provide filters and buses to narrow down such result. And as I mentioned, we provide a cross-reference network for easy navigation. If you type something into our search boxes, you can get suggestions. And if you need to save a search result, you can do that in various formats. Depending on which data set your search result comes from, you can launch biological tools. And if you need to get notified of any updates of a particular search result, you can use our RSS feed. The EBI Search web interface is implemented using EBI Search, RESTful Web Services, and Angular JavaScript framework. This means that we are the provider of the EBI Search as a service capability 
At the same time, we are one of the consumers of that capability. This is a search result when you search for TP53. And as you see on the top, you can find the big search box. If you type something, you will get some suggestions which are based on gym name, for example, maybe major database identifiers or publication title. And below that, on the left side, you can see a summary of result using biological meaningful categories. So using those summary, you can narrow down your search result into specific category or further to a specific data set. In the middle, you can find a gene and protein summaries, which helps users to explore the data at EMBL EBI from the perspective of gene or protein for certain key species. This is a search result when you narrow down to a specific data set, in this case, Unipro data. You can find more features now. So on the left side, you can find still find a summary of a search result. Also below that, you can find the facets. The facets can help you to see your, to narrow down such result into a specific knowledge domain. In the middle section, you can find a list of entries. Each entry has a link to the Mothership website where you can find the full details about that entry. And each entry also has short description and a list of cross-reference links. Using the cross-reference links, you can jump to other resources and find relevant information. If you want to save your search result, you can save user result in a various format, such as XML, JSON, TSV, CSV, or simply a list of identifiers or session numbers. And you can also launch biological tools. For example, in case of Unipro data, you can launch BLAST search or Cluster Omega. And there is an RSS feed link. That's all about web interface. I'm going to move to RESTful web services. You can find these features through the RESTful API. Obviously, you can perform text searching with without faucets. We provide cross-reference searching APIs, so you can build your own cross-reference network. Autocomplete is one of common features available in modern search engines. The top term API is to return popular terms from a specific field. This can be useful because it can give you a hint of data character. The more like this API is to try to find similar entries to a particular entry. We have an interactive documentation about our APIs. That means you can find all information you need to know when you use EBI search APIs. Also, you can make a test call over there to see the result on the same page. From the documentation page, you can download the sample clients, which are written in Java, Python, and Perl. This is the EBI search REST for API documentation. The APIs are grouped into five different categories, searching, top terms, autocomplete, cross-reference searching, and the more like this. And if you, if you select a specific API, you can find all details about that API. As you see, there's a short description about API, HTTP method, URL template, a list of response formats. There's a table which contains a list of parameters working with that API. Each parameter has a name, description, and data type. There's a link labeled show examples. So if you expand the link, you can find examples. If you click on any of them, 
the relevant parameter input boxes are filled with example values. So you, you just need to trigger the request and then can see such result or you know, result outcome of the request. This is an example of a request output. As you see, you can learn how to make a call with the call command line. There is a request URL, so you can try with your browser or other type. And you can find the HTTP had response headers, HTTP status code, and the response body as well. So far, I talked about EBI search web interface and then API and API documentation. Now I'm going to show how other people use EBI search APIs. This project are using EBI search APIs and now I'm going to show some of the examples. RNA Central is providing a note comprehensive and up-to-date non-coding RNA sequences. So we work together closely. So how we, how we do is that they provide us the metadata with their data, and then we index their, their metadata, and then they use our API. This is their search result page. As you see, there is a big search box. If you type something, you get suggestions which are coming from EBI search or the complete API. Below the search box, you can find the facets and the actual search result. These are coming from EBI search, search API. HEMA is one of the powerful sequence analysis tools. They provide web interface for users to try sequence similarity search and then see the result graphically. This is an example of a PHEMA result. As you see, the results are presented in the table form. If you enable to show cross-reference section, you can find a list of icons, pine tree, and each icon indicates different biological meaning. If you move your mouse cursor over the icon, you can find a list of cross-reference links. This cross-reference section is working with EBI search, cross-reference search APIs. Omics DI is a knowledge discovery framework for heterogeneous omics data. This is their main web page. As you see, they present nice visualizations, which can give users an insight to their data sets. And these visualizations are working with EBI search APIs. So they use our EBI search, search API for search result page. And the more like this API is the outcome of collaboration work we've done with OMIS DI team. Now I'm going to demonstrate some example application working with EBI search APIs. This is a simple search result page written with a bit of JavaScript and HTML and CSS. You are asked to select data set and then you can choose whether you want to see cross-reference links as well. Then there's a typical search box and search bot, and then you can see the search result. To implement this simple search result page, you don't need to install and maintaining, you don't need to install, maintain indexing or search infrastructure, you just uh, you can implement it with using EBI search APIs. This is another example with cross-reference APIs. So it's starting, it's starting with a particular entry and then using cross-references, it's expanding the cross-reference network. 
So here I started with an uniprod entry. The red dot indicate publication and the blue dot indicate uniprod entry. So whenever you click circle, it trigger cross-reference search. And whenever is the network is expanded using the found cross-references. My webinar is almost finished. Here you can find some useful links. The first one is one of entry points to EBI search web interface. The second one is the public GitHub repository where you can download the sample applications which I demonstrated in previous slide. The third one is the rest of API documentation. The last one is the official user support form. So if you have any questions or suggestions later, you can find contact us through the rest through the user support form. Thank you.